morning. We are back at Bayford Meadows this weekend for the final round of the Cane Cup Championship. Uh, where's my hand? The duck. Uh, uh, there. There, I think. Last time out of Bayford, we obviously had good success with the uh, with a clean sweep, with the win-win-win, which is very good. So we look to uh, bring that performance forward for um, this final race. There's something in the bush. Oh, the dog. Look at the dog. At the beginning of the year, we set out to uh, try and win the Ken Cup, but unfortunately, there has been some minor issues. One being we made the wrong call in the, in the first round here at Bayford. Um, this reason. But hey ho, we shall see how today goes and yeah, hopefully have a good day. Morning. It's very cold. Today is a good day because today is a race day. Woohoo! I didn't finish yesterday's yesterday off because obviously this thing died and my hand was like this all the time. So yeah, yesterday went all right. Um, we're there or thereabouts. But obviously, some some of the drivers worked on their new tyres. So obviously, we're quicker in testing. We've obviously got new tyres for today, so we were at a disadvantage at lead for our championship. Obviously, I was on old, they were on new, but now I'm on the new and they're on the old. So yes, it's played into my favour. We go into the day with, I think, positive mentality. We can, we can win here around here. We can do well, it's just whether other people ruin our day and stuff. But hey ho, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> Good result to be fair. Obviously we uh, we qualified in fifth position and then 
we're the fourth in that race. It's a bit nip and tuck because uh, I, I'm sort of catching third and then I'm losing a bit again. I'm catching again and losing. Uh, at the end of the day, it's going to be a struggle weekend because the size of me and because obviously it's not going to help the straight line performance as well. Obviously, I am like a giant wind block. I'm, I'm like sort of what you take to the beach to block the wind, but I'm on it. I'm in a, I'm in a go kart. So yeah, that is a bit of an issue, but but yes, we we shall get on with it. You know, part with it. We're obviously going to be starting from the outside in the uh, in the second race, so we will see what we can do from that position. I've just remembered we haven't asked someone why today is a good day, so we have to go find someone. I can't see. Oh, why is today a good day? Because I'm not. I remember mean, because today is a race day. <laughs> Started quite well. Obviously, I started in P4, made, made my made my way up into P3 quite quickly. So four laps in, third place made quite a clean move. I went to get the cutback. Guy behind me, obviously, I'll, I'll be slow as I'm getting the cutback. Now his foot into the back of me and spun me around, which is not ideal. I dropped down to this position. The grass obviously was wet. I was trying to put the power down. I couldn't. <laughs> And then I, and then I managed to climb my way back up uh, into, in the tenth position. Well, don't well done, James. So I had a good race, to be fair. I was try, quite enjoyed overtaking the Bambino final. It was getting quite intense. I hear the dad shouting. But yeah, lots of fun. Hopefully, P10 of the final. That's where I'll be starting. So yeah, we'll see if we can make positions up. Maybe you can get a Fast forward to Saturday now and I've been bad and not filmed and uploaded the video. But we're back in the garden as usual. It's quite a sunny day and windy day, I'm being blinded from every angle. But in the final uh, it was a good result. We come, we come up from P10 into P4. Third place goes to Louis Weaver. We get quite a nice size trophy, which is quite nice to round off the Ken Cup after the shenanigans that have happened. The race itself, it was, it was all right. There was a crash at the start, and up the embankment, which you can see in this photo now. So that was the start of the race, which was a bit chaotic. About five laps in, they red flagged it due to a driver complaining about the wrist hurting or something. I'm not sure, I think it was with the incident. Uh, the race was restarted. I, um, up to that point, I was in P6. Then the race was restarted. My mum made my way up into P5, second to last lap, got into P4 and just stayed there. And I was just kept catching the leaders, which is a bit of a shame because if I hadn't had the incident in the race two, I felt like we could have challenged for a higher podium or possibly even a win. There we are, that's racing, the highs and lows of motorsport all in one day. Again, like Forrest, isn't it? Get taken out in the second one, get a podium in the final. Hey ho! I'd like to thank my sponsors, Bristol Street Motors, Bromley, Clive Lemson Auctioneers, Unique Finishing Solutions, Vinyl Cutter Solutions, Motion Wrap, Tony at Supertune, Oli Varney, and yeah, until next time, keep smiling and send it. Yeah.